How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're back in yet another video, and in this video we're playing some more Clash Clans. And it's been a while since I've uploaded a Clash Clans video. Well, probably it's like a couple days for you guys, but it's been a while since I've recorded one. And actually, the audio of that I recorded with this actual video was kind of overpowered by the amount of game audio involved with it. So we're doing a voiceover after the fact that everything's recorded. And now that everything is recorded, all the upgrades that I do do in this video. Uh, I said doo doo. <laughs> All the upgrades that I do in this video um, are finished at this point, so I'll be able to make another Clash Clans video in the near future here, and everything will be all finished and done, fancy and cool. So currently, I have two heal spells, one rage spell, 40 archers, 10 wall breakers, 15 giants, 25 goblins, and 20 barbarians. Now you may notice some things different about this composition, as where I have five less giants and 25 goblins. So I added 25 goblins into the mix just to see if they would make things a bit quicker and gaining loot and things like that so we're gonna go ahead and search for a raid and as soon as we find a good base to attack we're gonna go ahead and come back and cut and I will see you guys once we find a decent base to attack I guess you could say so let's go ahead and do that okay so we now we found this base here and I accidentally found this base be well, I accidentally attacked the space because I dropped down a barbarian and I didn't really mean to when I was going to hit the next button So looks like we're gonna have to attack it um, Another quick note here is I actually added some red like lines and swiggly swaggly stuff on The border where normally black bars would be so I'm wondering if this is cool for you guys if You guys do like this add a little pizzazz to your videos or if I should add a little bit of like a, a Like logo or something on it. I don't know whatever you guys think leave me in the comment section down below comment and tell me what I should do. So I lured out the Barbarian King there and I dropped a couple archers around him and dropped my Barbarian King down and basically killed him. Uh, now I got the Giants going in here, I have the Barbarians going in, and I have the archers going in. Um, this raid actually ends up getting two stars, but not a, not a lot of loot. I mean, there's a fair amount of loot, um, enough for us to get our upgrade at least that we're going to do at the end of the video. Um, however, it's it's not a, it's not a good amount of loot, I guess you could say. Um, so the archers are going ham here. I go ahead and heal up all the giants and all the barbarians at the center here, and they're just gonna go ahead and take out that clan castle, pretty nice and easy. Everything it's going pretty well for now, I guess you could say. Some of those giants are going to get killed off here and I drop a rage spell right there in the middle. So that's going to enrage all the archers, all the barbarians, all of the giants, and hopefully get everybody in about one shot. So now some of those giants are dying off because the cannons do a lot of work on those giants here. They're only level 4 giants and they're two levels away from being maxed out so hopefully I'll have giants maxed out in the near future here. Um, but until then I'm just going to have to rely on cheerly heal spells and stuff like that so I'm hoping I can upgrade my spell factory also as well so I can pop in a third heal spell and into the raid. So down in the bottom right hand corner as you saw all of my goblins just exploded from a giant bomb just chilling right there. So we're, those archers are going to finish off the rest of those little storages there. Hopefully get that armor camp there as you can see we're about 61% and most of these giants are going to go ahead and die off here. Um, due to bombs and just the sheer power of Teslas and archer towers and cannons and there was a wizard tower, a mortar, and a cannon over on the left hand side. So we wouldn't have been able to get all the loot but we did get a pretty fair amount of it. So that's pretty much going to do it for that raid here. Uh, those archers are just going to go ahead and die off and you know just, just do their thing with that archer tower there, they're going to kill that there. And we're not going to be able to get all the loot. Like I said, there's like 20,000 elixir left that we could have gotten, um, but we just didn't have the amount of troops. So we finished it right off with 900 and almost 40,000 loot total. Um, we only got like 120,000 on that raid, plus 8,400 gold and elixir due to the fact that I'm in gold 2 now. Um, I hit gold 2 the other day and I'm pretty excited because there's a little better loot up in this trophy range here. Um, once I hit about 1700 trophies there's a really good amount of loot so I'm hoping I can hit that and get to a fair amount of loot. So right now I'm just going to train up uh, some more troops here, train up a bit more archers than I should have and I'm just taking those off now. Um, so I'm going to train up my composition here. Like you said that consists of two heal spells, one rage spell, 15 giants, 25 goblins, 40 archers, and about 20 barbarians. So if you guys don't have the exact amount of number of space in your army camps as I do, um, definitely be sure to just take a few archers off here and there and take a few barbarians off. I wouldn't recommend taking any more giants off um, or wall breakers necessarily, but you could also take off the goblins completely and just add more or whatever whatever you do so if you do have more space than I though I would definitely recommend using more archers and more giants um, I'm just gonna go ahead and train up those two 
uh, heal spells and the rage spell there. And this this composition is not too expensive. It runs about 180,000 elixir here, so uh, it's not too expensive. However, it is just enough where you don't want to use it like three times a day. However, I do because uh, most of the time I don't attack people unless I get about that much elixir, so I can. Um, not, what, what is what is the word? It's on the tip of my tongue. Um, um, what is it? <sighs> it, it? It's gonna be on the tip of my tongue, and I'm not gonna be able to figure it out. But we just upgrade that from level four mortar to level five, so that should be done in like four days. Um, at the time of recording this, it should be done in like a day or so. So um, by the next time you see this video, all upgrades will be done. By the next class clans video, all the upgrades will be done. But um, we got that wrapping up point, so I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did, be sure to add the like button down below and subscribe so you don't miss any future content. I will see you guys later. Adios, guys.